You might not be able to see them yet on the streets, but there are LSU fans all around us. My name is Jamie Davis, and I'm a big UT fan. And my name is Jason Davis, and go Tigers. I'm an LSU fan. These two met as college cheerleaders and have been waiting for this matchup. Once they announced it a couple years ago, we were like, yes! Finally! Hold on tight. Brett Berry knows the feeling. We'll have 350 people here watching the game. It'll be a big day for his bar, Rustic Tap, one of the LSU spots in town. These guys are ready. They've been, they've had this game circled. Barry isn't from Louisiana, but did pick up some skills for days like Saturday. Once you cook crawfish, you end up hanging out with those people a lot. Like Michelle Persica. I am from Louisiana, born on the bayou. She owns an Austin gym called Pathway to Fitness. There won't be any of this going on Saturday, only cooking for her watch party. We're going to have uh, chicken and sausage gumbo. We're going to have boudin. We're going to have uh, ball shrimp, fried shrimp, fried catfish. Speaking of catfish. I'm just doing a, uh, a blackened catfish with a pontchartrain sauce. Justin Burke cooks at the LSU bar Shoal Creek Saloon. He knows the pressure will be on when Louisiana natives visit his spot. Uh, it'll be the busiest day that I've had since I've been here. I definitely will have uh, a few uh, probably solid uh, food critics out there. The Davises are nervous about the game, but also about their two kids. Our oldest That's easy. is definitely a Tiger fan, and our youngest is... Just does whatever mommy says. That's right. Just like UT, LSU is filled with fans passionate about their team, their city, Let's go Tigers! Tigers! and their culture. In Austin, Jay Wallace. KV News.